Many of us get frightened when we hear about feedback, we feel tense and pressured. In most cases, the input is not as scary as we think of it. So why does this happen to us? Feedback is the cornerstone of personal and professional growth, but leaders who handle it consistently mishandle it. Bad bosses use brutal frankness as a weapon to manipulate staff or hide behind bad employee morale when they are overwhelmed. It is not totally on the shoulders of leaders. Those on the receiving end of criticism did not handle it well. Regardless, it is still important to receive adequate feedback to improve. The primitive part of our brain is an almond-shaped section called the amygdala, responsible for alerting us to danger. When we receive negative feedback in the past, this kicks off a fear response in the amygdala, it makes us defensive and vulnerable to future negative feedback. On the other hand, it's unimportant and unhelpful when it kicks in in response to something as innocuous as an offer of feedback in the modern world. So in situations where you feel nervous, do not fret and try your best to give attention to your body. It would help you reduce the tension that exists. As we move forward, we need to stop thinking of feedback negatively. We should foster an environment where feedback is given and received transparent and actionable. By doing so, you can help individuals and groups grow and improve. Before we can do that, we need to establish some truths. When giving feedback, the clearer and more specific it is, the better. For example, I like the red color of your website's headline or I love how fast order processing is on your website are much more effective than great job. Or keep doing what you're doing. Specific feedback will help elicit positive action. The second is to seek feedback. Giving feedback is just as important as asking for it. Open yourself up to new experiences and different perspectives by being open to criticism and asking questions. Lastly, while feedback can be challenging to hear, it's always an opportunity for growth. The foundations of a positive feedback culture are built with connections, trust, and taking notice. Fostering a culture where all three values are present can be the key to success for anyone. Connecting with people is the first step to building a better feedback culture. Listen to them, understand them, and trust them because when you do, they'll trust you too. Connections lead to trust. Next, being observant helps you notice the day-to-day -day things that make a big difference in the life of your employees. Observation and feedback are powerful tools for showing and teaching how to improve at work and in life.